some say images of Jesus in the church look very serious. He does not smile. He does not have human warmth. Uh, some people are on the opinion, even the picture of sacred heart, the heart is so gentle and kind, but his face look very serious. Today we celebrate the feast of the sacred heart. What does it mean when we say sacred heart of Jesus? What is this heart we are talking about? If you look into the gospel and the first reading of today, you can really find the real heart of Jesus. Jesus of the gospels is quite different from Jesus of the statues or Jesus of the pictures that we find in our churches today. He is a completely different person. If you look into the Gospels today and the first reading, you will find the real heart of our God. I would like to bring it to your attention. Three attitudes or traits of this heart of Jesus. The first one, affectionate heart very affectionate heart. In the gospel of today, Jesus says, I am meek and gentle of heart. That meekness, gentleness, and the humility is expressed not only in his words, but also in his deeds, especially towards the end of his life. Silent, meek, he accepted everything in his life. Number two, Accompanying heart. The words that Jesus uttered in the gospel, my yoke is easy. The, now the word easy in the original language, Greek, which means Christos. We translate that word Christos as easy, but the real meaning of the word Christos means fits well, well fitted. So when Jesus said, Come to me all who are thirsty and burdened. Take my yoke. My yoke is easy, which means my yoke fits well. What does it mean? Jesus wants to put the yoke along with him and with us. So he wants to accompany us. He wants to include us in his life. And that is a heart that includes everyone. He says anyone who is thirsty is welcome. And in his life he showed that. He included all kinds of people from all walks of life. Whether they were people of other faiths, people of Pharisees or other religions or children, young people, officials or politicians. He had everyone in, their heart, in his heart. Number three, attached heart. In the first reading of today, God makes a covenant with the people of Israel as the chosen people of God. And God tells them, you are the chosen people of God from among all the world. What does it mean? It means that God has a very personal attachment to the people. In fact, each one of us, God has a personal attachment. St. Augustine would say, God loves each one of us as if they were only one of us. God loves each one of us as if there were only one of us. In the entire seven billion in the world and the billions that passed by and the billions that are going to come in the future, I am the only one in the heart of God. And that is our sacred heart.